and um, fuchsia and crimson and the leaves and turquoise, lime green, and chartreuse. That would be my highlight color. Have you seen the chartreuse yet? Yeah, it's fantastic. So uh, this will take me just a few minutes to sprinkle some color around. But I'll try not to make it like forever. Uh, what's so cool about stenciling with color burst and stencils is the applicator. It has a fine tip applicator that lets you really aim exactly where you want your pigment to go. You see how easily I can uh, just put that pigment right down into the areas that I want to uh, paint with color burst. You see how easy that is? So I put some fuchsia in the center because it's lighter. I put the lizard crimson around the outside because it's uh, richer and darker. And then we can do the leaves really quickly. I'm going to paint turquoise leaves because I think that'll be pretty. It'll look like a dark, a nice deep uh, blue green. And I'm not covering everywhere because I'm going to come back and also do some lime green. This is a beautiful green. And I'm saving back even a little more space because I'm going to put that chartreuse in as a highlight, okay? This will like make a really nice highlight uh, right in certain areas. So there we'll put some highlight, there we'll put some highlight. Hello. Hello. So now, I have all my colors, and then I'm going to give it a nice spritz of water. And watch, this is going to blow your mind because it looks so cool. Isn't that nice? And I like how the um, turquoise looks on the leaf. Now all I have to do is take up the stencil, and then we have a beautiful uh, stencil. And because we use that turquoise and some other colors, we have some nice highlights. How cool is that? And then you can also take this. This still has like a lot of color bursts on the stencil, and I can grab one of my mixed media boards. You can actually take this 